In the metals quadrant, taking a look at the December gold contract, which was higher earlier, moving above 2000. The high was actually 2003 and 70 cents. That was up about 44 basis points, so a little bit less than a half of 1% from yesterday's settlement of 1994.90. Then we fell all the way down to 1981.60, which was down two thirds of a percent, but we recovered to finish positive versus the opening price not necessarily versus yesterday's close. Now, if you break it down, the high was made about 8 a.m. Central Time, then we fell to the low about 1 p.m. Central Time, then rallied back to positive again versus the opening price as we got into the close, not versus yesterday's settlement. Now, this is the eighth consecutive session that gold has finished positive to its opening price. And in five of those sessions, gold was positive versus the previous day's close. Now, the dollar was Pretty pivotal of what happened with gold today. The dollar was up in the aggregate for the third straight session. Today's dollar move was approximately a third of 1% higher with the largest moves being against the Euro, the Swiss and the Canadian dollar all between three tenths of 1% and four tenths of 1% lower versus the US dollar. So part of the strength was part of the reason that gold fell down to that 1981.60 that I mentioned. But then US yields fell throughout most of the day on the stock sell-off. So it seemed to be a flight to treasuries with stock selling off with people kind of wanting to lock in that yield. And that helped boost gold because yields were going lower. So there was kind of a push and pull with the dollar versus yields and the price of gold. And gold was actually able to get back up again towards that open settling we could almost call the settlement unchanged versus yesterday, but critical again that we got a settlement today that was higher than the open today because it shows up as a green candle on the green up, red down candlestick charts that many people use.